Hi, this is Melissa with Wilhoit Training. Thanks for joining me to take a look at lease renewals in one site. Now I'd like to show you lease renewals. It is important when doing a full recertification or self-certification that the lease renewal has been done. There are a number of steps in the lease renewal process. The ones that are relevant to you include generating a renewal offer and renewing the lease. This is important to make sure our lease dates are correct in one site. Let's take a look. So I'm going to go to my residence page and pull up my resident. Click view next to their name. When their at a glance page opens, we'll find the renewals link under the actions column. The pullover menu shows the three options, generate renewal offers, print renewal offer, and renew go MTM. First, we want to generate the renewal offer. In the header, you have the current lease start and the current lease end. You can select a new leasing consultant. We also have the lease offer, the lease start date, the days valid, this would be the days that the lease offer is valid, and then the offer valid. So be mindful of these dates when creating renewal offers. To create the offer, select on the blue hyperlink that says no offer. A lease terms box will open and select the drop down and 12 month lease. Go ahead and select save. Now you can see there is a 12-month lease offer. You have to look at the renewal price. In this case, I need to update the renewal price. And check the lease end date to make sure it's appropriate. Go to the bottom right and click Save. Now that you have saved the renewal offer that you just generated, go back to Renewals and this time select Renew Go MTM. The Renew Now wizard opens and will walk you through the process. Notice you can choose the offer that you just created. The lease sign date is going to be the effective date. You can choose the leasing consultant and the appropriate late feed method. Go down to the bottom and click Next. It will allow you to take a look at your scheduled billing to be sure that that is correct and the deposit ledger. Go ahead and select Next. Now you can see your renewal offer summary. We do not need to print this for our files, just select Finish. Now under the Summary tab in the center, you'll see the lease summary. You'll also see the current lease start and lease end. On the right, you'll see a blue hyperlink that says view renewal statement. You can open the lease renewal you just created to show the future renewal with the dates matching the upcoming certification. Well, that's it for lease renewals. Thanks for listening.